Hey Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for July 27th through August 3rd. All right, so we're going to take a look at intuition this week, what their intuition is, what your intuition is. All right, and we'll just dissect that a little bit. All right, so we're going to start with some Lenormand cards. All right, the purple cards are going to represent you, Gemini. The red cards, the red Lenormand cards are going to represent your person. And this is about what your intuition is telling you. This is about what their intuition is telling them when it comes to this connection, relationship, interest, past love, whatever it is for you. All right, so let's start there. All right, these cards are not meant to be read in the reverse. I am accepting reversals from the tarot today, um, but these cards are not meant to be read in the reverse, so if they come up in the reverse, we will flip them over. The middle card does hold the most significance, all right? So we're going to start right here. This is your intuition. What do we have? All right, Taurus, we have the child, which indicates that, you know, you intuitively feel like there is an opportunity with, with this person in some way to have a fresh start, you know, or, you know, this is just a beginning, with this person you know you intuitively feel like there is a beginning or a fresh start with this person uh, all right so that's the first card for you the second card here is we have the clover all right so you intuitively feel that the connection between the two of you feels in some way serendipitous like you were meant to come together um, you know, in the physical world, you might say, I was very lucky to meet this person, or, you know, you intuitively feel like there's something special about this connection, this romance, relationship, whatever it is. You know, this is a very positive card. So you do feel a fresh start or a new beginning here with this person you feel like in some way you were meant to meet this person. And what do we have here? All right, we have the house. So this is somebody that you feel that you could grow in the physical world with. The number four is about the physical world. It's also about stability. So this is not a fly-by-night type of connection for you. This is not somebody that you see as somebody that's going to run off. You don't see this person as being irresponsible. You, you see this as somebody that probably in some way has demonstrated their own stability, their own responsibility. You intuitively feel like this person could be a, a great partner for the long term. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have down here. What is this person's intuition telling them about you? Wow. Okay. So the ring, the ring can mean a couple of things. Okay. You know, um, first of all, the number 25 breaks down to the number seven in numerology and the se sevens, you know, are about some type of mystical quality, a dreamy quality, you know, almost a heaven sent type of quality. The ring is about a very deep bond. It can also be about marriage. All right. Um, you know, this person intuitively feels a deep bond. They might feel that you in some way are heaven sent to them. They might also feel intuitively like you would be a good spouse. All right. So that's the first card for this person. The middle card here we have, oh wow, we have the lilies. So 
just like you, you know, you feel like this person, you know, you intuitively feel like they are responsible and stable. This person with the lilies here intuitively feels like you would be a monogamous partner with them. That might be something that's particularly important to this person, especially with this ring here. You know, this person could very likely be considering you as somebody they could marry or have a very long-term serious commitment with. What do we have here? Wow. We have the roses, or this is the bouquet. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This person intuitively feels like there is budding romance between the two of you. And for maybe a smaller portion of you, they, you know, intuitively either know they should apologize for something or they might feel an apology is coming their way. But for the majority of you, they're intuitively feeling the romantic energy, the romantic electricity or chemistry between the two of you. All right, so let's see. We're gonna use the white cards for you and we're gonna use the black cards for your person. Let's see if what's going on is aligned with your intuition here. So let's see, what do we have for you? All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles. What is this about? The Three of Pentacles is about coming together in the physical world. And your first card is about a beginning or a fresh start with somebody. So, you know, I feel like what's happening here in the real world, in the physical world, it feels like there's the energy of the two of you coming together. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, all right, so we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, this can be about, obviously this is about heartbreak when it's in the upright, all right? This is also about, you know, leaving past hurts behind. So it feels like you're doing that. If this person in any way has hurt you along the way, you know, maybe it's been a long process. Maybe there's been something going on with them that you don't know about, okay? And it's our natural, you know, our natural response is to, unfortunately for, for some, is to assume the worst assume that this person isn't interested or assume that this person has another interest or you know assume that this isn't going to happen if you have been in that energy in the past i feel like that's something that you're kind of leaving behind and you're you're more so relying on your faith which allows you to be in a very hopeful state when it comes to this person you're hopeful you know, but you're faithful as well that this is coming together. You know, when you leave behind those assumptions, those heartaches, those heartbreaks, it really lightens up your energy and allows what is supposed to find you to find you. What do we have here? All right, so that's interesting. We've got the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles and the house that is out of whack that's out of alignment here okay because this card when it's in the upright is about you know the energy of lack not having something so this is where i feel like you are out of alignment so even though you're leaving something behind 
how you're thinking, how you're assuming, this energy continues to creep up on you. This is where your doubt is. Your doubt is, you know, whether or not this person is just going to leave you for dead, is going to leave you out in the cold. You still have those thoughts. That is what needs to be addressed for you, okay? Because your intuition tells you that this, you know, is somebody that could be a long-term stable partner in your life, okay? So let's go down here to your person. What do we have here? Look at that. Three of Pentacles. You're both on the same page here. How neat is that? That, you know, just so you know, it's like the odds of that happen happening are like one in like 9,000, okay? So just know that that is extremely rare. So this is about both of you, you know, in the physical world here. It feels like this is happening. It feels that way to both of you. This person feels that strong bond with you, and there we have it. Okay, so this energy here is beautiful. It's completely in alignment. What do we have here? We have the temperance in the reverse. Okay, so remember, for them, they intuitively feel like, you know, this could be, again, a long-term monogamous relationship, possibly a marriage. Um, I feel like monogamy in particular is important to this person, which is ironic that the, the number for this card is a number three, but even so. Um, temperance in the reverse. This is speaking to the timing of this. Okay, you know, it feels like for this person, the timing might not be exactly perfect for them to come towards you in the physical world, even though that this energy is here. We have, we're sharing this coming together energy. This person's timing is off because, you know, you might be very faithful and hopeful, but remember, you what do you carry here? You carry this energy of, lack in some way. So you feel like something, you might feel like you're lacking something when it comes to this person. So that could be why this person is in the energy of timing being up, but we'll probably explore that. Then finally, what do we have here? All right, so we have the moon, card of Pisces in the upright here. Um, this card, you know, indicates that there is some fear here when it comes to this person. This person feels intuitively that there is a romantic energy between the two of you. But in some way, they're fearful or they're hiding their emotions in some way. Even though they intuitively feel that, you know, that those feelings, emotions are shared. So why would they be doing that? All right, so let's explore this. Let's take a look at temperance in the reverse for them and the moon for them. Why do they feel like the timing might be off? Let's see. We have the two of pentacles. All right, so remember, monogamy, very important to this person. So they, they're coming up with this energy of stalling or juggling something. This person simply might be stalling, again, speaking to the timing. But for some, you know, they might be juggling a very difficult decision in the physical world here. You know, what do these pentacles represent to this person? Could be two people. Could be, you know, two places to live, two jobs to situations, whatever it is. This person has some type of situation or or other person that they might be juggling. So they are stalling this relationship or connection because they've got to figure that out. Let's get one more here. Temperance 
Ten of Swords. So I almost feel like those um, pentacles for this person, you know, represent situations of the past for them because the Ten of Swords is the card of the past. Um, you know, do they want to take an, a risk in love again when they've been, they might have been really, really hurt in the past? So they're looking at, I feel like one of these pentacles represents going it alone and this other pentacle represents you. Do they want to take a risk? They may just not be ready. They're not in the best frame of mind to get something started, even though that's what I feel like they're going to do. Let's look at what they're afraid of here, the moon. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, whatever they're afraid of, what I feel like they're going to realize in the physical world is that it's nowhere near what they're making it out to be. Nowhere near what they're thinking, you know, when looking at these, this past situation or situations of the past. I don't feel like it's anywhere near um, as bad as they think. I don't feel like it's bad at all. I feel like a lot of it lives in their head. You know, here's that third pentacle, right? So we've got two pentacles here. This ace of pentacles is in the reverse. So indicating, you know, delay in beginning building something with you. They're a little, they're a little skittish. They're a little afraid. Let's get one more there because I'm curious. All right. So we have the emperor in the reverse. All right, so the emperor represents, you know, masculine energy. This person may not be a great leader in life. Um, they, this person in particular might be afraid to take the lead. Take the lead, especially when they've had maybe some past relationship failures or somebody has betrayed them, this person ultimately is afraid to take the lead in this situation. All right, so let's take a look at this Five of Pentacles for you. All right, so Card of Leo, Strength. I feel like you might have some overwhelming desire, okay, towards this person. And it doesn't mean that this person doesn't have desire as well. I feel like they do, especially with these cards here. This person, I feel like, has their sights set on you, but they're afraid to take the lead. You've got this overwhelming desire you know, it's like you're, you're taming that beast, you're taming that desire, which is confirming that you're lacking what it is that you want. And you're in that energy instead of allowing this energy to guide you, which is your faith. Your faith in this person. So I feel like you go back and forth between these two energies. Let's get one more on the strength. Where is it that you need the most strength? King of Swords. <clears throat> okay, so this is your card, Gemini. So where you need the most strength is being in your King of Swords energy. This card represents Gemini. You know, where do you derive the most strength? Looking at a situation from a logical perspective. If you're not going to listen to your intuition, all right, 
look at the facts of this connection. I feel like that's what that's saying because I feel like the facts actually back up your intuition. So when you get in this energy of feeling lack, that's where you go to is, you know, your greatest strength is being able to look at something from a logical perspective. All right, so let's cap this off with a couple of Romance Angels cards. One for you. And one for your person here. Let's see, what do we got? Look at this for you. Worth waiting for. And look at what we have down here. Divine timing is, is at work in your love life. That's why this person, the timing is off because of something going on with this person. This person might be really trying to find their inner emperor, their inner masculine to possibly take lead in this situation, okay? And then what do we have for your person? Look at heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is what your person, moon, remember? Fear, hidden feelings. This is what your person has to do to move through this emperor in the reverse. You know, they need to be able to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and, and open this up because both of you clearly want to come together. All right? So that is what I have for you. All right? Thanks so much. If you're looking for a um, more personal reading, um, you can definitely reach out to me. And if not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.